Hi boys and girls, and welcome to phonics. So we're going to start our phonics by reading the phonemes that we already know. So we're going to recap them. So I'm going to show the grapheme and then I want you to read them aloud. Are you ready? Let's go. Ow. A. I. E. U. This is a split diagraph. They're too noisy, wasn't they? So they had to be split up with another letter. This is a A. Well done. E. U. I. O. Oh, fantastic. Well done. Okay, boys and girls, so we've just practiced our first five phonemes. Our next job before we learn another alternative pronunciation is to do some spellings, some tricky words. So I've got three tricky words that we're going to have a quick spell at now. So if you want to pause the video and go get a pen, paper, a whiteboard, whiteboard pen, whatever you need, you can pause that now before we start our spellings. Okay, so we've got three to have a go at before we look at our next alternative pronunciation. So, are you ready? The first one is, when? When will you come to my party? When? So have a think of that tricky word. Remember, we can't blend tricky words. <clears throat> so it's when. Okay. Number two. What? I'll say that one again. What? What are you wearing? What? Okay, that's number two. And then number three is out. Okay, out. Can we go out to play? Out. So our three spellings are when, what, and out. So if you need to press the pause and have another go, press pause now before I show what the results are. Are you ready? Okay. So there are three tricky words today. When, what, out. You can give yourselves a tick, give yourselves a pat on the back for everyone you got right. Fantastic. If not, don't worry. We can practice these again another time. That's what we do. We practice. We might make mistakes, but it's okay. Right. Okay. Let's have a look then which grapheme we've got today. So this is the grapheme. This is the letters. Okay. So this one, there's two alternative pronunciations depending on the word. So remember, alternative pronunciation just means how we might say it, okay? So you might know this as an E, okay? An E sound, an E phoneme. But we could also use it as an E. So we've got E and we've got E. Can you say that? E or an E? Your turn. Fantastic. E or an S. So it might sound different in different words. That's what an alternative pronunciation means. So let's have a read of some words and see which pronunciation it might be. 
So I'm going to do a really nice, easy one for you to start with. Okay? You might already need this. You might not need to blend it out. So I've got the S and the E. S, E, C. Fantastic. Like the C that we get at Skegness on the beach. Fantastic. Right. Let's try another one with the E. See if it's an E pronunciation or the E pronunciation. So let's try H, E, D. H, E, D. Blend it back together. H, E, D. Heed. Heed. Doesn't sound quite right, does it? Heed. Should we try it with the E pronunciation? H, E, D. H, E, D. Put it back together, blend it back together. H, E, D. Head. Super job at the head. That's right here on my shoulders. Fantastic. So it's an E or an E. Depend on the word, but we just try both ways and see which one might sound right. Fantastic. Okay. So having a look at this alternative pronunciation, your job now is to have a practice. So you're going to put the line in the middle of your book, so on a piece of paper, just like that down the middle, and then you're going to have a look at the practice words below and put them into the E side and the E side. doesn't matter which way, just as long as they're all in the same one. Okay, so you can have a go at that and then pause the video and we can check to see if that's right. Okay, okay shall we check to see if these are right then? So this is my E column. So in my E column, I've got S E. C, M, E, T, meat, tr, E, T, treat, St, E, M, steam, and R, E, P, E, T, repeat. Fantastic. Okay. In this column, my E column, I've got H, E, D, head, D, E, F, death. B r e d bread f e r feather and inst e d instead. So that's my e column and my e column. So give yourselves a pat on the back if you did that and you got them all right. Well done. Okay. So you've had a practice. You've put them into two columns. You've put the words in the right column. You can have a go at the Acorns Adventure on Phonics Play for an extra practice on reading them words. Your next job is to have a to apply it now. So you're going to read some sentences and decide whether it's the E pronunciation or the E pronunciation. So have a go at that. And then there's always that extra challenge at the bottom. If you've got some spare time and want to give yourselves that extra challenge, have a go at that. And I will see you tomorrow.